I have never been myself since last week when I had a terrible dream. It was terrible and frightening. The Lord in his mercy made it a dream and not a reality and gave me a commission to take the message around to his people for them to get prepared before the terrible dream becomes a moment of reality. Now, concerning the dream that almost took my breath away from me, I will fulfill the commission. I will tell the message because you are one of those I was ordered to tell. It was a normal day, at least, I suppose. Every man going about his business. Everybody living for today as if there were no tomorrow. Even a lot of believers had momentarily forgotten that they were just pilgrims passing through this world for a better eternal home. There was buying and selling, eating and drinking, just as in the days of Noah. Then, suddenly, just suddenly, there was a loud noise of commotion. What is that? Can anybody tell me why there is this commotion? What's going on? What's happening? I can see many people running helter skelter in various directions. I can see multiple accidents causing huge traffic jam. What is what is the matter? What's going on? What? Another terrorist attack? I can see a plane. Ah! The plane! Crashing into the residential area and sending up huge flame accompanied with thick smoke. What? Accident! Screams! Ambulance siren! The whole world is standing still! What has happened? Huh? The unexpected! The unexpected has happened. I must move closer to the scene of that horrible accident. See a guy crashing into the midst of the marketplace. Where's the driver? I see the truck. See the truck. Ramming into the marketplace. Killing a lot of people. Oh, what is happening? People rushing out of the hospital. Woman, what happened to the babies? What happened? Mechanical center, where are the babies? In the midst of these disorganized calamities, news began to filter him that there has been a commotion since few hours ago throughout the four corners of the Confederation. And this is due to the sudden disappearance of a group of people. The people concerned were reportedly vanishing from their various places of works, from inside taxi cab and from their marketplaces. The reporters were reporting that the sudden disappearance took place within the taking of an eye, and the cause of the incidents was yet to be known. There was a plane crash a few hours ago at the Kenya Tanzania border. The cause of the crash, according to Keen Investigator, was due to the sudden disappearance of the pilot and the co-pilot from inside the cockpit. The plane lost control and crashed on top of a mountain at the border with more than 150 passengers caught beyond recognition. The central command of the nation's police force is now packed full with hundreds of frightened people who have come to report their missing relatives and loved ones. 
Another unconfirmed report from this astounding incident is that the state police commissioner is reported to be missing in his office at the moment of the incident. The public relations officer of the state police command said the commissioner reported in this office this morning but is tentatively believed that he might have been among the missing ones. Then the reporters and news correspondents began to send in their reports from various parts of the world, Europe, America, Asia, and many nations of Africa. But the situation was believed to be similar throughout the whole world. And it was being reported emphatically that the majority of those people who are missing ones, if not all of them, were known to be believers in the biblical Jesus Christ. It was then, it was then I knew I had missed it. The glorious rapture, the sound of the trumpet. My fellow brethren were gone. Ah, I began to lament. My whole life had crumbled into a thousand pieces before my very eyes. I had just lost the hope, the hope of the world. I have lost the hope of ages. What the prophet and the apostles had expected to witness. But I am a believer too, a child of God. I was a Bible study coordinator of my church. Ah, I miss it. I miss the glorious rapture. The hope of the saints. Why? Why? My secret saints had found me out. Secrets of unconfessed sins made me miss the rapture. I knew the sins were wrong. I knew I was breaking God's laws. I kept on enjoying the sins that would send me to hell because I never knew. I never ever knew that the Lord will come so soon. What? What? Wasted years of labor. I had led many to heaven, but missed rapture myself. Because the Lord had delayed his coming, I thought he would not come for a long time. What a mistake I have made. What a great mistake I made. Good afternoon, here is the World News in Brief. Yesterday afternoon, the United Nations Security Council met in an emergency session and formed a new organization which embraces every country in the whole world. This organization, according to the Secretary General of the United Nations, shall be called United Nations Emergency World Government. He further explains that it is a one world government designed to work for the security and welfare of every country in the world and the government of every nation is bound to cooperate with the United Nations procedures. Ah. Ah. The United Nations said the emergency step became necessary for the, because of the mysterious disappearance of a large percentage of the world population. The United Nations Secretary also said that the United Nations Emergency World Government Supreme Council was made up of leaders from all the major world powers and the world leader had been appointed as the world president. Then they told us that the world president shall make his worldwide broadcast on radio and television. They asked us to stay tuned. And furthermore, they said to curtail the rate of vandalism, looting, and massive lawlessness that had become rampant all over the world due to the mysterious incidents 
the supreme council of the one world government had brought all nations police authority and hand forces of all countries under the control of the unified military force of the world leader they said every citizen in all nation have been implored to fully support the procedure and the goals of the United Nations World Government. Then, the most frightening news came from my own country. They said, for the benefit of security of everyone, the Federal Ministry of Domestic Affairs ordered that every adult, male and female, should report at the next morning at the nearest United Nations World Identification Center, which is situated nearest the police stations. Then our government declared that in the near interest of the world security, all people who may not be willing to be at the identification mark of unity shall be subject to arrest and prolonged inconveniences and torment. Ah, the Bible prophecies were coming up fast. Ah, I could hear the noises of people mingled with perplexity and confusion. And a lot of people could not even understand what was happening. The world government of the man of perdition had come into effect. All over the world, I saw people rushing to the nearby police stations to queue for the world identification mark. Many thought it was just for our welfare and security. Many even thought it was just like the voters' registration. No, it wasn't. My pastor once taught me in our church and I had once read it in my Bible that the government of the Antichrist will force everyone to take the mark of the beast. You, no, don't take the mark. I adjure you, don't take the mark. It is mark of destruction. And whoever receives it is doomed forever according to the scripture. Can't you believe it? Don't you understand? It is here. Attention, please. Attention, please. This is National Patrol Unit of the United Nations Emergency World Government calling. We are hereby warning you of the danger of not receiving the mark of unity. No one whosoever must transact business with anyone who does not bear the mark on his forehead or the back of his right hand. It is especially important Report your neighbors who refuse to bear the mark of unity to your local patrol unit. Report your neighbors. Be a good citizen. Obey simple instructions. In the last three days, I've been in the hiding. I have not eaten. I've been under hiding, afraid to come out in the open for fear of being caught by the patrol unit of the United Nations Emergency World Government. I have been placed under compulsory fasting. I know I may die of hunger. In this I doubt. I know a great punishment and torture awaits me. I am ready to die without the mark. I knew it 
the whole city is filled with police. Those that refuse to take the evil mark have been arrested and taken to an unknown destination where they have been tortured to death. Oh, I'm scared. I am scared. I'm scared. Attention, please. Attention, please. For quick identification and punishment of those who have refused to cooperate with the relevant plans of national security, all stores, shops, and places of business are prohibited from selling or giving any services whatsoever to any customer, unless that customer bears the mark of unity. All shopkeepers, clerks, and all employees are required to make known the identity of anyone attempting to transact business without the mark of unity. Report your neighbors. Be a good citizen. Obey simple instructions. Please. Please. Under my head. Walk towards the van. Walk towards the van. You may kill me. You may torture me to death. But I will not take the mark. I will not take the mark. I will not take the mark. Now we proceed to the fourth round of torture. Oh, my eyes! Oh, this is painful! Oh, Jesus! Lord Jesus! Oh, my eyes! Oh, my eyes! Huh? Stop. Yeah. You are trying to escape? No, I'm not trying to escape. My eyes? No. Oh, God. Ah. That was the dream I told you I had last week. When I woke up, I cried bitterly because I knew if Jesus had come in reality, I would have missed the rapture and then partaken the great tribulation. I knew I was a child of God, but I was secretly living in sin. So, the Lord gave me the dream to warn me of the impending danger of missing the rapture. Then, He gave me the commission of going to everywhere and to everyone, including you, to warn all those who are not prepared for the imminent rapture of the saint. I have therefore delivered the message given to me calling everyone to come to Jesus Christ the Lord before the great day of the rapture comes. Seems delayed as if it won't happen again. I will wait. I will wait. Though it seems he is not coming back again to take us home. I will wait. I will wait. For I know his glorious coming.
sure it's true I will wait for his coming He's near, he's coming Any moment from now Angels of God are getting set I will wait I will wait I will wait for the rapture is true I will wait for his coming He's near, he's coming Any moment from now Angels of God Oh